Hello and good morning and welcome. It is early morning. Look at them bags under my eyes. Terrible lads. Sir, no, I get sir. here over 40. Anyway, enough of that. Let me just have a quick sup of this Yorkshire tea. Jobs are good. So today there's been an update for Onward. And I'm going to give you a little detail of the little uh, the notes that he's released with it. But we also get a new map, Subway. So this hopefully is going to be a subway and fighting through a train close quarters. I haven't seen anything about the map as yet, but we will jump in on the rest of this video and have a look at the footage. So from looking at the notes on Steam, we now have an option, uh, a kick option. It's team based and requires a majority vote. Hover over players in the lobby and pull the trigger to vote to kick. Although, to be honest, I've actually found from playing this that the community is fantastic. I haven't met anybody who's been a fucking idiot barring one. But I think that was just because he wasn't quite sure what he was doing in game and actually tried to TK me. I was on another video. Everybody else has been very grown up, down to earth. I think there's a mindset here with uh, Onward and the HTC Vive because... We're at that age where we've got a bit of money, we can afford it. It's not full of screaming kids. They just simply cannot afford it. You need a decent rig, plus the headset as well, uh, the room and everything else. So there's not that... don't want to keep going on about it, but it's not that COD generation. It's a bit more grown up. Let me just move that down a little bit. God, I do look tired. It's a little bit more of a COD generation. So it's been fantastic so far. Uh, team kills are now represented as negative kills on the scoreboard. It happens, especially at distance with the vibe. Sometimes it looks like the enemy because you see the textures and you get close enough. It is what it is. Uh, round times have been extended to nine minutes. Uh, slight performance uh, improvements on quarantine maps. I didn't think the performance was that bad, to be honest. The only time I get the stutter is when we very first spawn in at the, uh, the start locations, but that's because everybody's spawning at the same time. Uh, and there's now a tutorial video added in the menu, which I was going to do anyway, so we'll go through that and we'll have a look at that probably in a separate video as well. Um, and it says also, expect more patches to come out this week, further fixes, adjustments are on the way, and thanks again for all the support, Dante. Now, this is actually the number one played HTC Vive game at the minute, it's sold over 12,500 copies, which you may think doesn't sound like a lot, but you got to remember, the HTC Vive is not even in retail yet. I know it's mind-blowing to think of this because I've had this for what now? Six, seven, eight months. Uh, I was a day one. Uh, I got this on day one. And um, yeah, I keep forgetting. I've got a friend who says, I'm going to go down and get one at Curry's. I haven't got him in. I not come out yet. So I kind of forget that we're still there. So 12,000 may not sound a lot, but for an early access alpha game, and certainly in my opinion now, seven, eight months on, Definitely the best VR game, especially if you're looking for uh, military milsim and immersion, then you're not going to get any better than this, I think, at the minute. And he's obviously putting a lot of effort into this with constant updates. So anyway, that's enough waffle from me with the bags under my eyes early in the morning. Let's jump in, have a look at the tutorial, and then we'll jump in and have a look at a multiplayer game for Subway. Au revoir. Okay, so here we are. And this is Subway. And uh, very cool, as you can see, occasionally my... <laughs> you actually see my breath there, very nice. So we are literally, looks like, in a back alley somewhere here. Um, let's just move up slowly. Ah, oh, we're actually in Chinatown, which is, which is quite cool because there are a lot of Chinese I've seen playing this game. Uh, quite nicely detailed. I've got trash bags over here. Rubbish bins, litter. Um, I'm wondering whether they put anything clever in here. Let's have a look. What we've got down there. Extra, extra. Yeah. So the uh, dustbins look rather large. Uh, I was going to say cigarette packets. We're going to say with drug needles down there. Um, yeah, this is quite cool. Got a sex shop down here, uh, drugs. Um, right, so it looks like the path actually splits off. So, what we'll do with the first one is we'll, we'll go straight down here. I've got to sneeze it. Virtual reality sneezes. All right. Uh, so, as you can see, the uh, red dot is really nice and bright here.
Oh, to put that down, we don't need that. Chet's final top switch has come our way down here a little bit. We're up 24-7. I want one of this is the sort of place where a, a shady drug deal would go down. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move ourselves down here past the sex shop. Unfortunately, we can't see anything in there. And it looks like we're opening up into Chinese market. Do you know what? This is going to be going to create some real fantastic fighting in here. You know, hiding behind corners. Urban fighting, I think, is where this game will really shine because at, at long range distances it's quite hard to see due to the resolution of the Vive. So these sort of distances are just going to be absolutely perfect for this. Let's just move up a little bit down here. So it really does open up. Now it's called Subway, so I presume we will be going down into the subway at some point. I don't know how big this map is. Kuna Wang Brada! I think that's uh, Hall House by the sounds of it. So we'll head down there in a minute. Yeah, hiding around all these little corners. Sniper and the saw gunner shooting along here. It's going to be fantastic. Let's work our way down. Stuttering a little bit. Sounds like Tarzan in the background. Um, Yoshi! Indian Yoshi. Uh, well, Yoshi's actually Japanese for lucky. In case you didn't know. Indians bloody everywhere. Uh, let's just have a look down here. To see if there's any. This may be a spawn point for the enemy, actually. Oh, quite a big map by the looks of it. Aha! The subway. What I was going to say was, at this point here, just sprint over here. This sort of thing is going to be fantastic uh, for, for marksmen as well. Let's get myself into position. You know, this sort of thing. <laughs> Aiming down and then moving back behind cover. Fantastic. Um, oops, forgetting my buttons now. There we go. And the old flashbang as well. So, yeah, it's looking really quite nice. Oh, shit, it's behind. Hang on, my eyes melt in the headset. Uh, and as you can see up there, it's like the old Western with the big buildings. Hey, it really doesn't matter. I'm not taking away anything from the actual game. Right, so let's head down into the subway. And head our way down here. So this is quite a large map. Um, no wonder the actual extended times have been put to nine minutes. You probably really are going to need it. Down we go down these steps. This is this reminds me a little bit of Battlefield 3. Uh, I've forgotten the name of that uh, that map now. And there is audio reverb as well down here. This this is fantastic. I mean that just looks amazing in VR. Uh, look at that. Even the dust coming off. So yeah, down here. I don't know if there's a train. Oh my god. This level is fucking huge! <laughs> oh, bless him. This level is huge! Oh my god, this is... This is fantastic! And you just imagine when, um when and if he can increase the uh, player count. No way, there's another level! Oh, holy shit! This is really, really nice. Let me just sprint over here. Let's sprint over and have a look at this. Get on the actual train. a flashlight. Oh, mind you, did I bring me night vision? Oops, shot myself in the leg. So obviously we probably can go a little bit down there. I'll just turn that off. Turn me night vision off. I mean, it's all really quite impressive. Just testing. <laughs> Welcome to Metro Line. Insert card or cash. 
No, that's not the map size. That would be ridiculous. Maybe in the future. Down to downtown Brooklyn. So there's even a fully fledged bloody train on here. Yeah, some nice echo in here as well. Um, yeah, beautiful. What we got in here? All the pipes, everything else in here. Service, delivery. Oh yeah, the old bank job. Wow, so this level is a lot bigger than I actually thought it was going to be. Really, this is quite impressive. Um, so let's just have a look and see what's down on the bottom floor. That's going to be blocked off. I don't need to go down there, I already know that's blocked off. Um, down here we go then. Down into the subway. Better get your knee pads ready, lads, because there's going to be a lot of crouching, I can tell. And here is the lower level. Which again may be a spawn point, who knows. Um, there's no way we're going to be able to go down there, but let's just go down and have a look. There is a ramp here. Let me just uh, put my night vision on, have a look. Holy shit, this is spooky as fuck. Oh, I didn't even notice what a nice little touch. The actual sights on the pistol as well. So I wonder if it lights it up actually in here when I fire. Let's turn the night visions on. Oh, and there's even lighting effect. Look at that. Yeah, very nice. Just ruin our immersion, man. Wow. So, yes, guys, this has been a first look at the new map, uh, Subway. And uh, I really am impressed. This is fantastic. Um, turns out the tutorial was actually just a video on YouTube, which will help new players if they watch it, but I may do a, uh, a video on it anyway. But... Uh, yeah, this is this really is nice. In fact, let's go back up. That's the end of the game. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Subway. An absolutely fantastic map. And uh, I will be doing probably another video at some point. The multiplayer aspect of it. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. I shall see you in another video. Coming real soon. Au revoir.